what's going on guys? I'm coming to you today with the Rise of the Empire expansion for Star Wars Rebellion. Uh, this is going to be an unboxing and we're going to take a look at what comes in the box. Uh, I'm not going to give you a full uh, playthrough review of it just yet because, well, I just opened it up so how could I have possibly played through it just yet? However, we are going to take a look at what comes in the box and from there we will keep going. And there will probably be a review coming uh, eventually, so make sure you are staying tuned for that. So, uh, let's see what we've got here. We've got a Fantasy Flight Games Summer 2016 catalog. That's pretty standard. We are getting a Star Wars Rebellion Rise of the Empire using this expansion rules uh, insert. So that's pretty standard. Um, Alright, you're going to have your rules and we're going to... I will definitely look into those. I've uh, kind of already been briefed on pretty much all the changes that this makes, and it does make a lot of changes to the game, uh, but it definitely just adds a lot more. Uh, so um, in this plastic bag here, we're going to see we've got two boards here, and basically what these are, are these are going to go down below your player board for your existing game and kind of show you the uh, the costs and all the stats for the new units. And that's really one of the most things that I've been looking forward to most in this game is the new stuff we're going to get for the game, all the new plastic pieces. We've got some cardboard here and we've got we've got our new commander. So we've got Mahdi, we've got Krennic, we've got Jabba, we've got Krennic's finest, our death troopers there. We've got Saw Gerrera, Cassian Andor, Jin Erso, and Shirut Imwe. So, sorry Baze Malbus, you did not make it in. We've got, it looks like, a new condition card with Jabba and a new condition card with K2SO. Uh, and then some some other markers here. Not exactly sure right off the top of my head what those are for. Um, we've got, let's see what else we've got. We've got some cards. We've got our stand-ups. Now we've got the green dice. Now the green dice are important. Uh, they're going to be a new thing in the game. Uh, and they only have two hits on them and the rest are blanks but the two hits are those type of hits that can deal damage to any type of units so the two hits are important there um, but as far as uh, as far as anything else related to these dice it is a d6 and look at that it rolls just like d6s tend to do and look at that my first roll was a hit so you know what I feel in green dice lucky today so that much is cool we've got some new cards here um, I'm not going to go through over every card, but it looks like we have some updated version of like the base game's regular cards, like Sabotage is a core card, and we've got some new cards. So I'm guessing this is a reprint of the original Sabotage, maybe so that it works with the new game mechanics. Um, oh, look at this. Oh, interdictor development. So we got some new stuff. And then we have the new battle cards, and so I, what I am, uh, did understand from, uh, from watching the Jotocasts review, which is actually a really good review, you should check it out um, as well, uh, but basically these are taking the place of your, your ground and space battle cards, uh, and so you're gonna, not going to use the other ones anymore, you're going to use these, and uh, so that's going to be cool. And I'll talk about this more once I do a, a, a proper review after having played it. Uh, we got some new uh, Rebel, we got some new Rebel cards here, and we got a whole bunch of uh, mission cards and a whole bunch of cards. Lots of cards, cards, cards. I'm going to put all the cards in a big pile, and it's going to be a pile of cards because I know what you really want to see, even more so than these little cards. Look at these little cards. Look at all these little cards right there. We got lots of little cards. Yes. So lots of cards, uh, and we've got cards for Jin. We got a card. Basically, these are just our cards for all the new characters. Uh, oh, a new Son of Skywalker, so, alright, so lots of cards, and let's see what else we've got, alright, so let's look at the minis, first I want to look at the Interdictor, look at that, the Interdictor looks good, how many of these do we get, I'm, that's another interesting thing, and actually they, they sculpted the bottom of it too, so that's kind of cool, you got your grab wells, and you got a little piece right there so it'll sit up, so we got one, two, how many Interdictors do we get, we got three Interdictors, only three? Okay, I can deal with that. Now let's take a look at the TIE Striker. TIE Striker looks pretty good. Okay, yeah, yeah, all right. I can dig in the TIE Striker. It's kind of simple. I mean, it's it's a TIE, so there's only so much detail you can put on a really small one like that. But I, the TIE Striker is way bigger than the TIE Fighters from, from the core game box. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like we're getting six TIE Strikers. 
Um, let's look at our tanks. Our tank is, uh, yeah, it's all right. It's not bad. All right. And uh, I'm going to set those up. Two, three, four. And the thing is, that the, the way that these new cards work is they're really definitely encouraging you to have, you know, versatility amongst your, uh, amongst your different types of ships and uh, amongst what you're going to have. All right, so we got six tanks. Now we got the ground antenna. Now this is basically your Endor or your satellite station, kind of like you see on Rogue One. And we got one, two, three of those. Um, looks like some of the uh, interdictor's bridge has been blown off here. So if you see some of these little pieces kind of loose in your bag, it looks like they go to the... Uh... There we go. Now we've got a bridge. And it looks like all of my... Oh, yes, all of my interdictors. That's better. Now you can see the interdictor. You were probably thinking, where's the bridge on the interdictors? Now we can see that the bridge is here. All right. Awesome. Okay. All right, now let's look at the Rebel stuff. We've got our Nebulons. Oh, okay. I feel like the Nebulon, as awesome as it is, I'm glad to have these in our fleet. It's going to make our fleet feel better. Um, oh, they can stand up. Look at that, it stands up. The the two little the little stands behind it, it actually stands up. So we got our one, two, we got three Nebulons. And all the new uh, units, uh, looks like I use green dice. We got our Golan uh, turrets, right? We got, we got our little Hoth turrets right there. Awesome. One, two, three. Uh, we've got our U-Wings. U-Wing is kind of not bad. I'm surprised the U-Wing is actually... About the same size as the TIE Striker. It feels like the TIE Striker is a little bigger than the U-Wing. So I'm like, eh. Oh, well, good thing this is not a game of absolute scale. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six U-Wings. And then we got our Bazooka, Baze Malbus shooting down. Our Walker on Scarif. We got our little Walker Bazooka Trooper there. So one, two, three four, five, six of those. So that is all the minis. Uh, so basically three and three and then six and six of each. So lots of new units, green dice for everybody, lots of new cards, some upgrade cards, lots of new commanders. And that's kind of everything we get in the box, guys. So uh, yeah, now it's time to announce some winners or a winner. The first winner from my Cool Stuff $20 gift card is uh, Benjamin Dustin. So, Benjamin, uh, thank you for entering. Make sure you are uh, contact me. Uh, send me a message on YouTube so I can get your contact information and get that out to you. And there's still one more winner. So if you did not, uh, if you did not enter, or if you did not win yet, there's still a chance because I have another winner coming next week. We'll announce the next winner. So make sure you're entered for your chance to win that. And uh, and to stay tuned for the rest of uh, you know my actual follow-up, how you know what I think of this expansion. Uh, this will probably be coming in a couple of weeks, but there's plenty more stuff coming. So just make sure you subscribe. Click the uh, click the little bell for alerts. It should be uh, down here somewhere. And uh, and that's it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me, leave me a comment. Let me know have you played Rebellion yet? Uh, what do you think of it? Uh, I think it's one of the best two-player games there is. Um, don't play a four-player though. Uh, don't don't do it. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Yeah.